Right, so there's a quick video tour of my uh, new uh, office and retro gaming space. Um, so here we are on the uh, the new landing, the new loft conversion. Um, nice picture, a picture at the top. So as you come to the top of the stairs, um, that's my daughter's new bedroom at the front and the redorma. And if we look around here, this landing space here is now my... Um, new uh, office so we've, we've built in a bit of storage space just under the eaves here I don't know how well you can see that but um, built these doors on the front of it so we've got this is just storage space here um, but this is the main part that I've been working on so this is going to be my office my um, um, retro gaming room let me just turn some extra lights on and get a bit brighter in there Okay, so um, yeah, I've got my my chair here. This is the the office space. It's where I'm going to be sitting and working most of the time. This is one of the primary reasons I've got this. Uh, so I've got my modern computer there um, with my chair that I really like. It's a it's an imitation Charles Eames uh, sort of uh, chair, sort of 1960s sort of style office chair. There, um, if we look over here. Got a seating area, uh, got the entertainment area, bit of shelving. Okay, so over here, let's start over here. So I've got uh, one of these embossed um, Zelda sort of prints. Um, and then behind my chair, this is my main sort of storage area here. So I've put out a few items that, uh, that I own. Um, Bit of a sort of PC corner in the back there. I haven't got a lot of, by the way, really, I've got any old big box games for the PC. I've got a few CDs sort of left over, SimCity, Quake, nice quick stop shot joystick that I got not that long ago, actually. Um, a few sort of classic consoles. My first computer was an Acorn Electron. Um, and we've got this Acorn. This isn't actually my Acorn Electron. I actually gave my Acorn and all the games, everything to a charity shop. This was... Um, my uncle's acorn which he gave to me a bit more recently um when i had a bit more, <laughs> put more value on on these things a few handhelds a bit of lego you know not everything here is retro games related some of it's just um sort of retro related so these are the storage boxes i've got um behind here these were built onto casters so behind here um is storage there's lots more storage behind here so a lot of stuff that i'm not using most of the time but in here i've got Drawers with, as you can probably see, Dreamcast games, cartridges, some SNES cartridges and N64 cartridges in there. Um, here I've got my Amigas actually in the bottom of there. Um, a few joysticks and various keyboards and bits and pieces. A bit of a junk drawer that, but it's got kind of project hobby sort of stuff in there. Um, box games from... A PlayStation era when I probably had the most free time to disposable income sort of ratio. Uh, so I've got more PS2 games than probably any other console. Um, and then yes, just some more boxed games I've got on the NES collection there. Um, N64 um, collection in there as well. Some PlayStation 1 games, some PlayStation 3 games. And I think there's another box or something, might be a Wii box behind that, something. Uh, Mario here. So this is going to be my hobby space here. So at the minute I've got a BBC micro out. Uh, got a um, Pi tube there, which is like a accelerator processor that you can connect to it. Quite useful when you're doing basic processing because it soon gets too slow. Uh, but this is where I'm probably going to just do like hobby work, maybe a bit of soldering, maybe get my Amiga out, and this is you know I can keep changes around. Um, got a screen here now. This screen can. I can connect it to the second screen for my main computer, so I could get something. I've been I've been displaying some basic code on there and then typing it in on this um, using the uh, the CRT telly. The CRT probably going to stay there. It means I can link up some light gun games. I've got a couple of light guns and things that I might want to um, use. And obviously, they don't work very well on the LCD screens. So this is just a second monitor, wall mounted. Like I say, primarily connected to the PC, but I can use it for connecting up and the Amiga to it or any other 
hobbies that I'm doing at that particular time. A lamp I've picked up, quite useful. Um, so up on the top here, I've just got, at the moment, I've got all black and white Philips Tele, which is quite cool for, um, my mate's got an Atari 2600, it's quite cool for playing 2600 on. Um, and that's actually an 8mm um, camera, uh, cine camera up there, uh, which is fully working, pristine condition actually. It's my granddad's, he filmed my christening on there, and my sister's christenings, and my mum and dad's wedding on it. So we've actually got them converted to DVD. Um, the desk here, and this is where the boiler is, this boiler housing is built out of the, the purlins, which are these beams here, the ones that were taken out of the front of the house. Um, we used to build this boiler housing and the desk, um, which I think is quite a nice little feature. So when I sit in my oh, comfy chair here, this is the view I get. So I've got my NES and my SNESs out here, and minis that I probably play on primarily. I haven't had them linked up yet because in the other side, I've got, I'll oh, sorry, this is a bit of a mess, but I've got a PS2. Um, which I've been using mostly, and a pile of pies which are connected up, and I can just play uh, games on the pie. So it's a bit of a mess in there, but it's handy to be able to that. You always end up with a lot of wires when you've got pies. I might tidy it up somehow at some point. Uh, I've got a zapper there, which is a bit misleading because obviously I can't use the zapper. And there's zapper on the uh, big LCD screen. Big track. Not an original pig track, actually. It's when they re released it back in the 2000s. Somebody bought me one. And then this is my uh, display area here. Just just put these shelves up today. Um, kind of the final piece. I mean, a lot of this stuff's going to get moved around, but just got some of the games and systems um, that really stand out um, for me. So Mario Brothers 3. I always love playing the G-Con light gun games. Um, and I've got this drawing here now the one on the left is a control control pad done by a five-year-old daughter the one on the right is a control pad pen drawn a drawing from my 14 year old daughter so I'm quite proud of that i think she she liked the style of the patent picture of the uh, atari joystick so she did this for uh, father's day which uh, obviously i'm going to display proudly up here um yeah, so that's it. So, obviously, hoping this is going to be a nice space for me to play retro games. Primarily, probably over here, hobby space. That's where I'll work when I'm working from home, which is quite a lot of the time. And probably will be in the foreseeable future. Um, then just displaying storage space back here. Finish the video there.